All right, you guys, welcome to week three of level two Cha Cha. Today we did a hip twist and a hockey stick. I don't know who names these things. That's cool. Here's our hockey stick. So we're going to cross body. Two, three, four, and one. 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 So we're doing a cross body. What we want to do is open up into a fan position instead of facing each other. Two, three, four, and one. We don't want to be too far away, but we want to be slightly opened up. Followers were recognizing this opening up by looking and mirroring our leader's frame. If Heath was facing me, I would face him. He's turning out, so I'm going to turn out. Okay? Leader's frame. Break forward, but pushing her to the side. Two, three, I'm going four and one. She's going in a straight line, but she's not passing the leader yet. She's still staying on my left side. I'm going to break down two and three. I'm stepping across, following Rochelle. On this three, she's rotating. I'm bringing my hand down to her core and stepping four and one with the follower. So from this break here, leaders, you're going to notice that you're breaking forward. Your hand is going a different direction than your body. If you bring the hand with you, your follower does a super awkward break that looks something like that. So you want to make sure that you're pushing her to do a back break while you do a forward break at an angle. Four and one. Followers, we have this nice turn arm that we want to engage because we have a very quick turn coming up. We're going to go two. Three. As soon as we get most of our weight onto this three, the leader is going to turn us around our head and down. We want to bring our left foot to meet our right foot so that we're balanced here. And then we're going to step to the side together. Four and one. That's it. And that's it. Right, next, we got a hip twist. Let's get it from our side basic. We're going to break on the sides. Two, three, four, and one. Two, three, four, and one. Two, Three, four, and one. So we're breaking down. Two, three, four, and one. My one's are straight between your foot. Left hand's coming down and coming to her core. At this point, Rochelle arm locks. Yes, this is solid. It's not going to move from this position. So it's not going to change this way, or this way, or this way. It's here. Okay? With my right arm, I'm going to help the leader. Through, I'm going to break forward, rotate my body so it's comfortable for the follower as she does a back break. You can see. Yeah. So also followers, notice that I use my follow through. So I'm bringing my right foot to my left foot and then he's going to push me to step backwards and I'm going to step back. So I really want to make sure that my feet stay under me and that I don't overcommit my weight to the point that I can pick my foot up. It's going to hurt my leader's arm if I go this far back. Sorry. Two, three. I'm bringing or rotating my right arm. Rotating, keep the hand down the core. So I'm going to lock backwards. Four and one. We're going to rotate again. Two, three, four, and one. Exit to the side. Followers, you'll notice that on all of those swivels, <coughs> I used my follow through, kept my feet underneath my body. as I did those steps, okay? So that not only helps me to keep my balance, it helps me to take my steps when I'm where I want to take them, as opposed to my foot dragging me down to a place where I'm not ready or not wanting to go. And that was it.